If you're a fan of Star Trek, you no doubt know about the controversy erupting over Axanar. Uh, Axanar was a something that was fan funded on uh, Kickstarter a few years back. It's made hundreds of thousands of dollars. And now CBS is saying, well, not just now. In general, CBS is saying that they are un improperly using their copyrighted works. And after that presentation in December, Axanar said, oh, yeah, tell us how. The lawyers have in 28 very detailed pages, as a star, any good Star Trek nerd would do. It lists in gr great detail when this was used, how this was used, what the precedent is. The uniform they did use did look a lot like Captain Kirk's. Uh, these are triangular medals on a uniform in particular. And if you want to go through the PDF, we'll include a link below, straight from the CBS lawyers. It is very long. And this is an interesting case. And I think it's something that it, it does need its own special case-by-case -case analysis for this one. Uh, because there's people of a lot of different opinions on this story. So normally I want to lean on the side of fan films, of fan creation, of fans doing their best and making something out of something they love out of something they love. There's nothing that I think is, is a greater expression of your love for a project than devoting your time and your effort to make it uh, better or make your own love note to it. And I think Star Trek fanfic, well, if you want to call this fanfic, has existed for years. So we have uh, Renegades, we have new, uh, new Voyages, we have Star Trek Continue starring my friend Grant as Sulu. And it's, uh, CBS has been pretty lenient on this. But the reason why Axanar is a little bit different uh, doesn't go into the quality of the, the work, which is very high. Uh, I think what it goes into is how the money is being appropriated and used. So as with most fan films, Axanar was fan funded. So it was kickstarted. People were like, this is amazing. Let's be part of it. Um, and then the problems after that was how the money was being used. Now, you know on Kickstarter, no one is governing the person that created a project uh, on how they're supposed to be appropriating the money. And we've seen other projects in which money was maybe not appropriated right. So people can take the money and skip town, and there's nothing Kickstarter can really do about it. That's not what happened here. Uh, but what had happened here is the creators of Axanar decided to pay themselves a salary, which I think is it's all right. I mean, uh, if you look at nonprofit or fan funding, it's not necessarily uh, you get nothing. You, you, there, there can be a, mini a minimal salary to just keep yourself going. Uh, but it seems that they've also created a studio and that the funding from this would be used to fund the studio to make future uh, for-profit projects. So this seems like, I mean, I, I want the line here is that it seems as though the person who is running Axanar is saying that I am a person of the fans, I represent the fans, they are trying to stifle fanfic and creation, and I don't think that's the case. I think this is someone trying to profit uh, using someone else's intellectual property and in a way that would be inappropriate. I mean, if you look at the other fan films, they're not making I don't think they're making anything off of them. I mean, the, the money funded goes into the project, and the project is available for free to people. I think that's the distinct difference here. My question is, why is it that as of Christmas, because I was under the impression that CBS had actually supported this film or said, we're cool with this, um, until uh, Christmas time when they said, actually, we changed our minds. No, we're not cool with this. I think what it is is they generally let fans work with their right. IP as long as they aren't making profit off of it. And this one sh advertised itself as being a not-for-profit fan-funded uh, operation. And then uh, there some evidence came to light. This is what I think. I don't have the evidence in front of me. Uh, that they weren't doing that and that mm -hmm. they had been running this building and running a studio mm. for profit and for future profit off of this money. And so when this Kickstarter w went up, what did they, like did they have a presentation where they said, okay, this is where the funds will be allocated and now they're not doing that? Um, that's what people are looking at. I mean, if you look at the original writing, it says we're not making money off of this. Mm -hmm. This is a project from our hearts and our minds, and then they got several um, big names attached to this. Mm. Uh, and, and also people, other m major actors in sci-fi, like Richard Hatch attached to this. Mm. 
and it, it looks beautiful. It looks great. And I don't think that's the problem CBS has. I think the problem they have is you are profiting unfairly off of our IP. Uh, and I also think the problem might be, I mean, the creator of this project has said some pretty unflattering things. And I, I mean, I think that's part of it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a tricky subject when it comes to fandom and the internet because, you know, on the one hand, fans have more control than ever or or they've got a louder voice than ever about their favorite properties and mm -hmm. the fact that fan fiction or, you know, um if, if fan films um have have become as their their quality they're used as calling cards and they and they treat fans to an experience that maybe the studios aren't giving them I mean I think that's all very important oh well, yeah I obviously agree, but I think it's a different beast altogether here right and that's what it sounds like and it sounds like the people that gave money well, who knows but um it, it if these funds are being misused or not maybe not being used in the way that the fans were told they were be they would be used mm -hmm. then I think that that's um, that might be taking advantage of a fan base, and I that's think it's, unfortunate. Yes, and I think un unfortunately labeling oneself as oh I I represent the fans and all fan films, <clears throat> it, it doesn't seem like the right thing to do, especially if you're using this as a vessel to make more money for yourself and more profit for yourself. Right. When there are people who are, you know, legitimate fans who are making legitimate fan films, which. They're, they're two different things. I think they've been conflated together, and I'm a little worried about what precedent this may set for the future right. of other fans trying to create work out of a sheer uh, passion project. Well, the good news is that there is no bigger fan of Star Trek than Brian Fuller, mm -hmm. and we're getting an official Star Trek series from him. Yay! So, yay! Well, so, I, I mean, mean, I don't know where the future of Axanar lies. Yeah. I don't think the work is bad. I... I I disagree with where the money's going, basically. It's too bad, too. Uh, you know, look, I, I have to say, you know, just, just as a pure, pure um, you know, person who's, who's looking on and, and not involved in this at all, the idea that you could raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to make a movie that is absolutely not yours, co meaning copy using this copyright and using this material that mm -hmm. doesn't belong to you, is... It, that makes me skeptical in the first place. I mean, I understand what fa what what fan films are. I, right. I get the premise, but you know that makes me nervous just to begin with. And and I I would be I would raise an eyebrow at that in the first place. Well, we have to look at what is <clears throat> morally okay and what is legally okay, and it, they're two different things. Well, and how and I think people can mess up the two. That's what I'm saying. Like, how could th how could there not have been this concern of we're going to sink you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars into a property that we do not have any access to as fans, and how could they not think that they would get shut down? Yeah, it, there have been some pretty bold moves in this project, uh, if you look into the history of it. I'm sure there's some of you who disagree with me, um, but I would like to continue this conversation because this is a very rich topic, and there it is a very specific thing going on here that might not be going on in the... Uh, larger community. Uh, audience, what do you think of what is going on between Axnar and CBS uh, regarding Star Trek and Axnar? Let me know below in the comments. You can also tweet me and like and subscribe for more. <laughs>